What's up guys? Welcome back. Today, well, it's not that good. We actually broke the Jeep. Well, kind of, sort of. So there is some problems with the Jeep. Um, ever since I got the alignment adjusted correctly and got the caster set uh, that wasn't set correctly before, it puts the drive shaft at a different angle. So it's kind of messed up the drive shaft a little bit. So that's what we're going to be upgrading. Front and rear drop shafts we had ordered from Adam's Drive Line. Adam's Drop Shafts, however you want to do it. So I could show you a little bit under here. As if you will see, there's a little right here. So look up in there, you'll see grease is slung everywhere, all up underneath this heat shield. That's pretty much destructed itself. So we're getting a little bit of noise and vibration from that, from the angle of the front drive shaft and the, where the front axles push forward a little bit because we're sitting about seven degrees now. So ordered these a couple weeks ago, they came in. Uh, the weather's not really been cooperating lately. So it's a little nice, cool, sunny day at least. We got some snow here yesterday, but as you can tell, it is all gone. And my river lake I had down here is finally starting to dry up so we'll pull the jeep out for you guys and we'll get this stuff loaded up in there i'm actually going to do it at a friend's shop he's got a little bit more room and a little bit more tools and we might be able to use a lift if he's got it available so pull the jeep out for you guys This fit, thankfully. <laughs> Got one up in there on the side. Front one fits. Back one fits. I don't know if you've seen that, but this thing is still nasty from going in the snow. Whew. <laughs> thing still needs to be cleaned. A lot better to my standards. The wheels are dirty still. So we're gonna have to do something about this. These wheels and tires are for sale. If you guys know anybody, these are 37, 1250 BF Goodwrench KM2s and TIS 533 MB 20 by 12. They were a deep lip wheel. And I think they got like 8,000 miles on them. I rotated the spare end, so really good shape tires. I mean, they're not really, there's no signs of wear, anything like that. If you guys know me by it's looking for some wheels and tires, take $2,000 for these. Pick up only, shoot me a message. You can get with me on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, but all the tires are in good shape all the way around. So we are upgrading to a different size. So I just want to mention that these are for sale. So shoot me a comment if you're interested. We'll get it situated on how you can pick them up. So we'll head over to my buddy's shop and get started on this thing. It's just right down the street. It's not even a mile away, so it's really nice and convenient. So we'll head over there now.
All right, guys, we can underneath this thing. I'll show you a little bit of the damage here. Here's the rear one. So the front one here, as you can tell, that boot is really ripped up. And as you can see, the grease that's slung out of this thing. So definitely got problems with the front drive shaft. So if we're gonna change one, we might as well change both of them. So not too bad in here, a little dirty. I need the Jeep here. We'll get this thing start and loosen this thing up. So Michael started on the front. I'll show you the new drive F's here. This is the front, which is longer than the, I'm sorry, this is the rear. I don't know why I'm thinking I'm looking at it backwards. Bigger strap. And it shows how it comes packaged. As, of course, it was built for me. Has all the specs. Has the new yokes. Comes with stickers. Stuff's packaged really well. Peanuts. So we can play with that later. So just want to show you a little bit of the packaging of how they came from Adam. So one thing we noticed that the rear disc had some oil on it. So we ran down to the parts store and got another seal, which looks like this. It's like $21. I'd rather just replace it now instead of tearing the drop shaft back out of it and replacing it again. But it looks like the one that's on there is worn out. So we will put that on there. So I went ahead and loosened all the smaller bolts here yeah, break it loose Get on both ends that's kind of hard to see Yes, there's like three of them on each slum. Yeah, Bluetooth drop shaft. So we'll show you the size comparison of these stock. It's a little bit thicker, but it's not as strong. And of course you change both ends to the yoke style. All right, so we got the front drive shaft out. I just wanna show you this end, how bad it's tore apart and the grease is slung out of it. As you can tell there, not much left of it. Of course you eliminate that with a new different style. Our new yoke. Went ahead and replaced the seal. Put this right here. So basically got the rear ready. All right, so we got the rear in here. We're gonna put the U bolts, bolts in. Got the new drive shaft lined up. A little dark. Michael's working his magic. That's what he is on the weekends, <laughs> and it is Friday. About to go make some money. All right, so we got this rear bolted up here, tightened up. We just gotta wipe it down. Got the back all bolted up. Got the bolts nice and tight. Shouldn't fly off or kill anybody, including myself. So we'll move on to the front. 
and tighten it up, wipe it down, and should be good to go. Alrighty, so we got this front one tightened up here. Got it in place. Of course, you see that nice Adam sticker. Right, so we got it tightened up right here. Of course, we got the rear. So I just gotta wipe it down, put it back on the ground. We'll drive it and see if it's got any vibration. So, drove this thing. It's not making any vibrations or anything like that. Just a couple streets away from my house, so went too far, but got up to like 55 miles an hour, no vibrations like it had before previously with the other shaft in it. So, doing a lot better. So, of course, as you can tell, it is dark because it gets dark here early, but get this thing put up and probably drive it a day or so, and I'm gonna go back and retighten all the bolts, make sure that they're torqued correctly. And that's pretty much gonna do it. Really excited. Get those in there before we upgrade the wheels and tires. But that's gonna conclude this video. If you've not been here before, click subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. I appreciate you watching this video. And we'll see you guys next time.